What is going on YouTube? In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about reverb and specifically, I'm gonna be talking about how to put reverb on your vocals to make them sound really good, really full in the mix. Uh, let's dive in. So I'm gonna play the vocal for you without any of the processing. And then we'll just go step by step through this, how to add reverb, how to clean up your reverb sound, what other post-processing I do um, to help out with that. So here it is. Sunshine and moonlight. I fade into stars stuck in your eyes Yeah, I'll take a million of these nights I could stay forever, forever in your arms Alright, so a good vocal starts with a good singer and a good sample, which we have here. I Honestly, I love this one a lot. Um, and then here's our reverb plugin that I'll be using. I love Valhalla Vintage. It's a great plugin. Um, Personally, I really think that using a third-party plugin is super important with reverb. A lot of the studio ones, they or the stock ones, they just don't cut it. Um, you don't have all the same functionality, and really, it just sounds cheaper, in my opinion. Um, so, using a third-party plugin is really important for reverb. Um, and and this is my favorite one. So, let's talk about it. So, there's really three major things that we're doing with the reverb here. One of them is we're going to be controlling the mix. So, how much reverb relative to the dry signal. Um, is playing in the mix. Then we're going to control the decay time here, which basically says uh, how long the reverb tail goes on for until it cuts out. And then lastly, we're going to be messing around with some of these EQ settings in here to get our EQ sounding just right with the vocal. Um, all right, so let's start with the mix. So what I've done here is I've actually divided out the vocal into two separate channels underneath one bus. So one of them is going to be completely dry and one of them is going to be completely wet with reverb. And in instead of controlling the mix in here, um, since this is the completely reverbed out sound, I'm going to be controlling the mix using the gain on that wet channel. So let's just mix this in and figure out where we like it. Sunshine and moonlight I fade into stars up in your eyes yeah, I'll take a million of these nights I could stay forever, forever in your arms I think about there is good. There's a lot of reverb, but not too much. I like a lot of reverb for this just because I want it to sound a really, like, really big and really full. Um, she's got a great voice, and I, I want that to shine through. If you wanted a really clean um, sounding vocal, you would just mix in a little bit less uh, reverb there. So next, let's control that decay time. Again, I want a big vocal presence here. So I'm thinking a longer decay time. Um, whereas with a cleaner sound, you could go with a shorter one. So to me, it's going to sound really unnatural, but let's, let's take a listen. Sunshine and moonlight I fade into stars up in your eyes Yeah, I'll take a million of these nights I could stay forever, forever in your arms. Yeah, so that longer decay time just really fills out this vocal sound a lot. Uh, one thing I did notice though with it is that the reverb tail actually carries into the next phrase uh, whenever she starts singing again and kind of drowns out her voice a little bit. So we're going to need to clean that up with some sidechain compression a little bit later. Um, lastly, on this reverb plugin, I'm going to just control some of the EQ here. I want to cut out all the lows from the wet signal just because uh, reverb is generally wider in the stereo field and it's further back in the mix. So we don't really want any lows. It's going to mess up and muddy up our sound. Sunshine and moonlight I fade into stars up in your eyes Yeah, I'll take a million of these nights and then the last thing, I want to dampen the highs a little bit on this. It, it just feels a little bit too bright with them in. Let's see. Sunshine and moonlight I fade into stars up in your eyes Yeah, I'll take a million of these nights I could stay forever, forever in your arms So basically, we just dampened everything above 4500 hertz by 24 decibels. Um, the reason I did that is it, it just helps kind of clean up and darken the sound a little bit. You know, she's got a little bit more of a 
melancholic voice. So I, I really like the way that that works with vocal. Um, I'm just going to do a little bit more EQ on here. I, I just want to make sure that there's no lows left in the sound. So let's just check that. Sunshine and moonlight. There's still a little bit rumbling down there. So I'm just going to do a, a low cut here. Sunshine and moonlight. I fade into stars stuck in your eyes. And I just added that into the dry signal as well. Um, next up, we need to sidechain the reverb to the dry signal. So that whenever she starts singing again with that new phrase, it ducks the reverb tail and helps her voice come through really clearly. So what I've done here is I've added a compressor. Uh, I've sidechained it to the lead. So it's now detecting whenever that dry signal, because it's pre-effects, so it's detecting that dry signal. And then we can control the threshold, and actually dampen uh, or duck rather the sound of the reverb in response to that dry signal. Sunshine and moonlight. I fade into stars up. See how when it's really extreme, whenever she's singing, you only hear the dry, but then when she stops singing, you hear that reverb tail. So let's just make this a little bit more natural, a little bit more subtle. Sunshine and moonlight. I fade into stars up in your eyes. Yeah, I'll take a million of these nights. I could stay forever, forever in your arms. All right, I think right about there is good. And then lastly, I just want to level out the sound a little bit between the reverb tail and the dry and kind of control that a little bit more because when when the sidechain ducks, it can feel a little bit unnatural sometimes. So what OTT does, it's an upwards and downwards multiband compressor. So basically when the reverb tail, you know, it's a lot quieter than the dry sound of the vocal, right? So Whenever it's just the reverb playing, it's going to boost that sound. And whenever everything is coming in, so the reverb tail with the uh, dry vocal, it's going to compress that down a little bit. So it's just leveling out our mix a little bit and then brightening it up. Sunshine and moonlight, I fade into stars up in your eyes. See that? So I like doing that just to kind of hear what the plugin is doing. So. With, with it turned up all the way to 100%, that reverb tail gets really loud, and then the main part of the vocal gets a lot quieter. So let's just do it a little bit more subtly. Sunshine and moonlight I fade into stars up in your eyes Yeah, I'll take a million of these nights I could stay forever, forever in your arms all right, and there you have it. That's our reverbed out vocal. Uh, we did a little bit of EQ work and a little bit of compress compression on there as well, just to clean up that sound, help the vocal punch through the mix, but also sound really big and really full with that reverb. So thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. We have a lot more content like this coming your way. If you got any questions, feel free to drop them below and I'll do my best to answer every single one. Thank you for watching.